going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. It's great to have you here. In the last video, we talked about my pre-workout nutrition and one of my favorite meals to have before the gym, four rice cakes and protein sludge. So I get some carbs, I get some protein in there. And I got a lot of questions, a lot of people DMing me about how I make that sludge. And it's super, super simple. So let me show you. You guys know I like to use the Cake Pop Select protein powder. This stuff is absolutely delicious. And all that I do is I put it in a bowl and you're just gonna add a little bit of water. I've never used this thing, but Megan was kind of freaking out that I wasn't using filtered water. So you just add a little bit at a time. So even there, might've been a little too much to start out with, but it looks like we're okay. So here we go, just adding very small amounts of water and stirring it up until you get a thick consistency. That's essentially what we are looking for. Just something that's almost like a paste or an icing. And all I do, put it right there on the rice cakes and it makes it taste so delicious. In this video, what I really wanna talk about is how we've been able to cut our food budget in half, really by making some very simple swaps. And the majority, not the majority, a huge chunk of my food budget, unfortunately, was coffee. So I have a very bad habit going to Starbucks, going to coffee shops, spending a lot of money on different coffees. I'm kind of a coffee snob these days, and I also just enjoy the experience. So I have made a commitment here at 2020 to cut it down to $15 a week, which for me is actually less than half. So what I like to do is almost make my homemade lattes. And how I do that is I use this thing. I don't even know what you would call this. I think it's like a frother. I got it for free when I got the Nespresso. Well, free for me. Caraman got it for me for my birthday. But it came with an espresso machine and this is great so you can make foamy coffee. What I like to add is a little bit of almond milk and you can kind of do this one of two ways you can add almond milk you can add creamer you guys know what i like to do is add almond milk and some pe science select cafe and i get it the running joke is it's just a bunch of product placement but guys this is honestly what i use day in and day out so i'm just showing you what i do so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna add maybe like 50 grams of almond milk <coughs> I was just reminded, this is actually cashew milk, but tomato, potato, it's all the same thing, you know? And just to show you guys how committed we are to the budget, we picked up the old school coffee machine. Well, actually, Megan's mom got it for us for Christmas, and Megan likes to drink, you know, 10 to 12 cups at a time, so this works out well for her. For me, you know, I just like to stay with my Nespresso. I love this thing so much. You don't need it, but it's definitely a nice to have. And another hack that Megan introduced me to is a, what is this called, a mason jar? Mm -hmm. No other reason other than just to look aesthetic when you're making coffee. Two common themes throughout this video, preparation and forward thinking. That's really all it takes in order to make this happen. If you're like me and you're trying to cut down on your spending a little bit. As I mentioned, when I was going over my 2020 goals, I was getting to the point where I was going out to eat every single day when I was in the field and that would be $15 a day on food, five or $6 a day on coffee. And that, that just adds up after a while. And it wasn't like it was affecting my financial situation in a negative way as of now. But for me, just from a discipline perspective, I felt like I could do a little bit better by being able to implement some of these things I'll show you throughout the video. You can save a lot of money just by thinking in advance. And I think the same goes for making sure you get your workouts in as well. So if I wanted to pack coffee to go, I obviously couldn't bring something like this, but you have a thermos or a mug, a Yeti, whatever you want to call these things. That'll keep it warm for a few hours so I don't need to go through the Starbucks drive through And this, I added all this up. I kind of dollar cost averaged it. This is going to be like... 47 cents versus a $5 latte. So that's a pretty good trade off. And if you guys didn't know, whey protein is a very affordable, affordable form of protein. One of the most much more, it's a much more cost effective than like chicken or steak or anything like that. Especially when you use Travis to say 15%. I'm sorry guys, I can't help myself, but I'm going to drink the rest of that, head off to the gym, and then we'll get into some meals that I bring with me on the road. Because if you're like me, you don't have access to a refrigerator or a microwave. You got to really put in some work in order to make sure you're making the right choices.
So another way I've been able to drive down my spending on food is kind of derived from counting macros again, and that is just getting back to the basics, sticking to whole natural foods. What you'll find is when you go out and buy, you know, pre-packaged, ready-made foods, they become a lot more expensive, but something like eggs and lunch meat and oatmeal taste delicious, better for you, and even when you buy $7 eggs, you're gonna end up saving a little bit of money doing it this way. I'm so excited for this, guys, I'm starving. Something I'm gonna talk a little bit about in tomorrow's video is this mini cut that I've been doing, and it has been extremely successful, mostly thanks to Cameraman that makes me all this delicious food, but it's really helped me establish getting back to the better choices of foods, and I'm just feeling amazing, feeling great. You feeling great, Cameraman? Cameraman's feeling great too, she's killing it. And just like we're gonna stop getting coffee out every single day, we're also gonna stop going out to lunch because that is adding up. And one of my favorite restaurants, it's not like it's unhealthy or anything, but it's Clean Eats and it costs me $15 every time I go there because of course I gotta get the cauliflower rice and the bison. It's just perfect. If you have a Clean Eats in your area, definitely, definitely check it out. But I am limiting myself to once a week going there and, and my $5 coffee, but every other day, we are going to make something and pack it. And the, the problem that I have and the problem that a lot of you guys probably have as well is I don't have access to a refrigerator or a microwave. So I've gotta be really creative and that is why I went out and invested in this guy. Now you don't need a Yeti, you can get any kind of cooler. I just had some gift cards and some things that I needed to spend. So I, got, I picked this up and it works amazing. It keeps my food cold all day long. I put ice in there and by the time it's lunch, even when I leave at 4 a.m., it hasn't even began to melt. So this thing is a game changer. So what I'm gonna start doing and what I have been doing is making some different types of foods depending on what day it is and where I'm at. So on the days where I have no access to a microwave at all, I am going to be making wraps using this ham right here, which is delicious. I'm actually going to sneak in some guacamole. You guys know I don't really like the taste of this, but I'm trying to squeeze in some healthy fats. These Joseph's Lavish are awesome because they're only 100, and cal 100 calories per wrap, 14 grams of carbs. I do not like to have a whole lot of carbs throughout the day. It just makes me a little bit sluggish. And I thought you could only buy these at Walmart, which I do not want to go to Walmart ever. It's just not worth it. But I found that they have them at Harris Teeter. So I'm sure if you guys have a local grocery store to you, you can find those as well. And we're also going to add a little bit of romaine. Now there are a few days a week that I might have access to a microwave. And on those days, what I'm going to be making is a bag of cauliflower rice, as well as two of these turkey sausages. Very good macros, seven grams of fat, two carbs, 13 protein per wink, so pretty awesome, and it tastes great when you mix it all together, especially if you add a little bit of sugar-free barbecue sauce. So that is my meal when I do have access to the microwave, and sometimes I'll even have this when I don't, but I can tell you when I eat this cold, it's not great, but the cooler does a good job of keeping it almost frozen, so there's that. A few different ideas I have for sides. These bada beans are phenomenal. I buy these off of Amazon. 100 calories, 100 calories per pack, and they taste phenomenal. Probably a little bit better option though. It's just gonna be regular cashews. And you can tell what I've done is I've individually packaged them so I can just grab a baggie and go about my day. And then over here, Megan has been nice enough to make me hard boiled eggs. She probably doesn't want me to open this container because she doesn't like the smell. But these are a great option to grab and go. She's been making those in the, I always wanna say, ooh, those do smell. I always wanna say one pot, Insta Pot. And she makes them in like 10 minutes and then you know does the whole shelf thing. And of course, you guys know, my preferred grab and go. Again, I get it, product placement, but it doesn't even have to be this. If you want an inferior protein bar, that's fine. But it's just having these on deck because it's gonna be a lot cheaper to buy these by the box, grab one and go, than to go to a gas station and buy that. That is what we are trying to avoid, is making stops to pick things up because that is when it starts to get very, very expensive. And there we have it. In about 15 minutes, we were able to make lunch for the entire week. And by we, I mean Megan. So everyone give a thumbs up on this video for cameraman who is always holding it down. So look at that. I mean, that is pretty good looking. Again, it's not the best tasting thing in the world, but I don't mind it at all. And then these guys right here, man, these are pretty stealth. I mean, get some bicep curls going in before you, uh, before you take them down. So 
that's it. Simple as that saves you time because you don't have to go find the restaurant you want to eat at or sometimes I, I'm in a remote territory like Clinton, North Carolina and there's surely nothing in that city that I want to eat. They don't even have a Starbucks so this could be very beneficial for all of us not only for our health but also for our wallets. So this is when you're partially dedicated to the thumbnail of the video. You can see business up top, party down below. I just figured, you know, you don't need to change. I mean, I'm doing good just by wearing pants, to be honest with you guys. So let me know. Was the thumbnail worth it, or should I just have taken a picture and a t-shirt? You let me know. How's my butt look, cameraman? Some steaks in the air fryer we have been loving this they come out tasting delicious so definitely try that out if you have not and you have an air fryer but not only have I committed to eating out less during the week we as a couple have also decided that we're gonna scale back just a little bit we were going a little bit too far uh, during uh, I would say the holiday months where we go to happy and hail like three times a week and we go to all these different places so we're gonna be eating in obviously saving a lot of money to put this in perspective Last time we went out to get a steak dinner, get, granted it was New Year's special occasion, it was probably close to $200 with drinks. This, you know, you're looking at, what, 20, 30 bucks by the time it's all said and done. So just a few minor tweaks here. We've, com we've committed to one day, either Friday or Saturday. The other day we're gonna eat in. Yesterday we went to our, our, one of our favorites, Bar Taco, and tonight we're having steak dinner. Definitely not a bad consolation. With the steaks, we're gonna have this Alexia butternut squash risotto. This stuff is awesome. I used to buy this all the time when I lived in Cincinnati, kind of forgot about it. Megan and I have been loving it. And then Megan has introduced me to canned peas, which I never had, but eh, I like peas, so should be pretty good. Telling you guys, it doesn't get much better than this. I would take foods like this and the salmon bowls that we often make over about any restaurant in America. Look at that steak, this butternut squash risotto, the peas, all in all, just an amazing meal. That dinner was incredible. And you know we can't end the night without a little bit of dessert here. So we've got the poverty brownie. We got two rice cakes with peanut butter, a protein bar, fudge brownie, my favorite flavor, Greek yogurt. I just discovered Entourage, which I realize is probably, what, 10, 15 years old now, but I'm pretty addicted. And that is pretty much going to be the end of the video. Those are the ways that I have been able to spend much less money on food. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself, you know? I've been, you know, it's not that far into January yet, but so far, so good. You know, gotta give myself a little pat on the back and maybe you're looking to do something similar and maybe it's not food. Maybe you spend too much money on clothes or entertainment or your vehicle or, or whatever it is that you might be. I think it's always just finding ways to hold yourself accountable. So I'm tracking my macronutrients in Avatar Nutrition and it's helping me achieve my goals. And it's just the same as any other goal that you might have when it comes to spending. I'm reviewing my Mint account um, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty regularly. It's a very hard word for me to say. And so you guys can do that same thing. Mint is free. You can get on there and check it all out and you can just review. Megan does a great job of keeping things on my calendar and also holding me accountable for all the things that I'm trying to accomplish. So let me know in the comments down below, what is one thing that you want to spend less money on and how are you achieving that goal? Be interested to see what you all have to say. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd really appreciate that and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.